Happening today, you can see a new movie by a director from Sacramento. Marcus Allen, who knows him well, joins us live. Mark? Yeah, Mr. Walgree, I think you and your kids used to play ball with Deion Taylor. He is indeed a local guy. His wife and he, uh, Roxanne, live in Granite Bay. They write, produce, direct motion pictures that are seen around the world today. A huge one opening up. It's called Meet the Blacks 2, The House Next Door. It is a comedy, it is a horror, and it's both scary and funny, mostly funny. Uh, I've had a long history with Dion. In fact, a year ago this week, we sat down for an entirely different cause. We caught up in his backyard last night to talk about it. Take a look. How surreal is it to be hanging out in your backyard just a few hours after you had the biggest premiere since the pandemic? The only premiere since the pandemic. That's crazy, man. Yeah, we just flew back. And it is surreal, man. It's just, um, you know, one year ago today, or one year ago on the day of the premiere, which was Monday, I was looking at you and we were marching for George Floyd. Yeah. And, you know, we didn't know what was going to happen to the world at that time during that moment. You know, when you think about racial tension, then you think about COVID. We were out there with masks on, just kind of doing it, man. We didn't know all the particulars. And we went through a crazy time. So Monday like represented a lot for me personally, where I'm going like, wow, man, like you talk about full circle and you know what it means to like put in work and do a bunch of stuff and try to come out on the other end successfully. It's crazy, man, that Monday night we had 700 people, a red carpet premiere, every press outlet you could think of and all the actors walking the carpet. I was just like, yo, this is insane. And on top of that, you mentioned what we were a year ago. What the world needs now is some comedy like this. That's exactly what we need, man. I got my shirt on. I love it. Um, to be able to go to the movie theaters tonight, tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whatever day you're going to go and just laugh, <laughs> to me, it's like that's everything we need right now. And you will laugh at this movie. I, uh, Snoop Dogg is hysterical in this movie, and he was in the original Meet the Blacks as well. Uh, I highly recommend it. Full transparency, though. He is my friend. I would tell you it's a good movie, uh, uh, only because I would want to make him proud. But I'm telling you both as a film critic and his friend, it's a good movie. And it's a lot of fun, and it is what the world needs now. Hey, I'm hanging out at Stage 9 in Old Sacramento with a 100-year-old movie projector, and this is why we call movies films, because they used to come out on film. Wow. Back Old school. You. I love it. Okay, Mark, thank you.